collegiate and meet record set here last year by the USC Trojans at 327.03, and their quartet is just about that good again this year as we take a look at Oregon. It's going to be a Pac-12 affair amongst the leaders here. They will be in lane number four. Their seat time, 338.18. That's the third best time in the country this year amongst the Legions. And there is USC in the preferred lane five. They've run 327.56 this year. Sad. Very possibly running by themselves the whole way. From the inside, LSU, then Oregon, USC, and Purdue on the outside. And we will see Kendall Ellis run the anchor leg for the Trojans. They're setting a collegiate record in the Open 400 earlier today, followed closely by Sydney McLaughlin. Just 200 of a second behind, we saw her help Kentucky to a very fine season best time and a high scoring position in the previous section. For USC, this is Kaylin Roberts, the freshman. And Shay Anderson for Oregon, who is well back right now. For Purdue, that is Chloe Abbott, but the Trojans will hand off first. And this is Anna Cockrell, their fine hurdler, who just lost in a photo finish in the 60-meter hurdles earlier. Kalen for USC, 52-32. Purdue hanging in there. That is Brianna Thomas, the senior. And now here comes Oregon. With Brianna Desrosier now making a race of it. So the Trojans not dominating this race the way I thought they might. And a move being made on the outside by Purdue's Brianna Thomas. She's running, running wide. Trying to get her Boilermakers to hand off, get the hand off first, and they do so. It's Purdue followed by USC, then LSU and Oregon. For Purdue, Carmisha Cox, and for USC, Deanna Hill. Expect to see Deanna Hill blow this thing open for the Trojans, but. Purdue's Carmisha Cox holding her own. It will be Kendall Ellis on the anchor for USC. Hill trying to make that move before the turn, but she's just not going to get there. She's going to have to run wide into lane two. She really wants to get that baton to Kendall Ellis clean and in front, and she does, is going to do so, but Purdue just won't go away. Ellis gets it clean and into the lead. The new collegiate record holder in the women's 400 meters. USC senior Kendall Ellis on anchor. And for Purdue, Janaya Mitchell. Deanna Hill, 51-74 relay carry for the Trojans. Purdue just not giving up at all. Time to beat 329-41 for the title. 327-03 to break their collegiate record. I don't think they're on that pace unless Purdue's running a phenomenal time in second place. Ellis lifting like she did in the 400 to break that collegiate record. 327-45, that is a season best. But it misses their collegiate record by just a little over four tenths of a second. Purdue, a very fine time in second place, 328.82. Ellis's anchor, 50.75. Not the fastest of the race. That goes to Sharika Barnett of Florida, running 50.11. The Trojans are back, Dwight. 